friends, welcome back to A's learning journey. I was just reading about a motorcycle. Then my dad came in and asked, Hey Anj, do you want to go for a cycle ride? I decided to pull a prank on him. With that, how will we evaporate into the atmosphere? My dad got confused and laughed. Then he said, I went for a bicycle ride. Not what you said, which is about, what is it about? Then I laughed and said, it is about how the water cycle forms rain. Speaking of water cycle, that's today's topic. Without rain, the farmers won't have any crops to grow, but luckily there is. Now there's full of crops in the farmer's gardens. And don't forget, it's very fun to run in rain. The rain keeps everything green and lush. Have you ever imagined a planet without any rain? That's a scary thought. So come on, let's see how the water cycle forms rain. Water can be in oceans, on land, in the atmosphere, even in underground. This water gets used and used all over again by what is called the water cycle. During the cycle, the water changes from one state to another, like solid, liquid, and gas. The water cycle undergoes four processes, which are evaporation, condensation, perspiration, and collection. Let's start with evaporation first. This process is then water vapor gets into the atmosphere. The water turns to water vapor because of the sun seeds. Here, have a look. I hope you are able to see the vapor, vapor rising up. The water gets heated, then it turns into water vapor. See? Let's move on to condensation. This is the process when the water droplet is in the atmosphere, it cools down and turns into tiny water droplets. Then, when these tiny water droplets, along with various gases and dust particles, they come together and form a cloud. Have a look. To show condensation process, I've closed the lid on a jar with hot water. Can you see the water droplets on the lid? can see? Great! That's condensation. A cloud gets too heavy and full of water droplets. It pops out and lets water come out as snow, hail, drizzle or rain due to gravity. This is a third process called perspiration. Perspiration means any form of water that falls at, down to the earth as mentioned Snow, hail, drizzle, and rain. Come, let me show and spot experiment about perspiration, which I like to call the perspiration experiment. For this experiment, you'll need a glass of water, foot color, and shaving cream. So, you have to put the shaving cream on top of the glass of water. Now, we must add a foot color on top of the shaving cream. When I add foot color, see how the water comes down. OMG, the cloud is too heavy. Now it popped out and blue foot colors coming down as rain. The water gets collected into oceans, lakes, rivers, seas, even underground, which is called, yes you guessed it, underground water. This is the final process called collection. So these are all the processes that the water cycle undergoes. Here's a final summary. Evaporation. It turns the water to water vapor. Condensation. The water vapor cools down and turns into clouds. Precipitation. The cloud gets too heavy and lets water out. Last but not least, collection. It builds our oceans, lakes and rivers. Okay, bye. Hope you learned a lot about water cycles. See my next video. Stay home, stay safe. Bye, please.